Hi, and welcome to the demonstration video for the second assignment in the Photoshop unit. We're working with layers. As we noticed yesterday, not using layers and trying to change things um, can end up with some really, really interesting results. So you're going to have to download this image and then open it in um, Photoshop, okay? One of the most interesting things that you can do in Photoshop is that you can close down different layers. So you'll notice that I've clicked the eyeball on the rings layer and the rings disappear. I am gonna make sure that I'm working on the text layer and I know that I am because it is gray. And I am going to select from over here my text. And I am going to highlight my text because one of the things that I've been asked to do is change the date from June 21st to June 15th. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to highlight save the date and I am going to change its color. I don't like this font because of course it isn't much of a wedding font. That's a little better. Okay. Um, now I am going to go back to make sure that I'm on the rings. I'm going to hide the text. I am going to use very sorry my move tool and right here oops there we go I can move it here I can actually put it right on the cake if I wanted to um, because layer is just basically a window okay um, I'm going to leave that alone now. Okay, back to my move tool. So I need to apply my transformation. There we go. I'm going to bring my text back in. And what I want to do next oops, is add an adjustment layer. So to add a layer, start here. Whoops, I've just locked it, I'm sorry. Huh. What do I want to do? No. There we go. I've just added a new layer. It's called layer one. And what I want to do is make this adjustment layer. And I want to mess with the brightness and contrast. So I can increase the contrast or decrease it depending. Okay, I can also work with the brightness. Now a good idea is to double click on your layer and we will call this brightness and contrast. If you name your layer for what it is or what is on it, it will be much easier to find. Here we're dealing with maybe six layers some of the documents that you will be dealing with may be 15 or 20 deep and you will have an awful time trying to find the correct layer if they're just named layer one, two, and three. Okay, that's it for today. Hope this has been useful to you and we'll see you on the next demo video.